An unidentified flying object flew across the sky. Come here, Charlie. It's okay, honey. The blonde man settled his wife and children. He drove over to investigate. Unexpectedly. There stood an American soldier in front of the car. The flying object had just collided with him. The two of them walked into the woods. They saw the strange spacecraft on the ground. A energy ball floated out of it. It scanned the soldier and showed no interest. It chose Jack, the blonde man. The energy ball formed a bond with Jack. And then... The soldier was knocked unconscious by an explosion. Jack, on the other hand, unleashed a mysterious power. He used the energy ball to become a superhero. He fought criminals all over the world. The global crime rate began to decline. His heroic deeds spread worldwide. He was also known as the Guardian by everyone. Jack couldn't reveal his identity. He was busy saving people every day. He had less and less time to spend with his family. His wife divorced and separated from him. His son grew distant from Jack. One day, he encountered another emergency. He wanted to cancel the celebration with his son. His wife gave him an order. She insisted that Jack must spend Charlie's birthday with him. Luckily, the little boy was innocent-minded. Jack quickly appeased him. The father and son enjoyed a rare moment of playtime together. They didn't stay happy for long. Jack received consecutive calls again. He left his son at home. Charlie pretended to call his mom to pick him up. In reality, he called Dino from school. Unexpectedly, Dino brought two girls along. Charlie became a bit nervous, because he had a secret crush on Danny. Kids nowadays mature early. When Charlie met Danny, he was so nervous that he was at a loss. Accidentally, he bumped into the billiard balls on the table. Unexpectedly, it opened a secret door. Kate was an expert in escape rooms. She quickly solved the code set by Jack. They entered the elevator and pressed the button. They rapidly descended to the ground. The sight before them shocked everyone. The underground headquarters was filled with high-tech equipment. The central energy ball was their power source. Charlie looked through the data on the control panel. He discovered that all the cases archived stored here were handled by the Guardians. He suddenly understood. No. Dude, it means your dad is the guard. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was indeed difficult to connect his dad and the hero together. Children were at the age of curiosity. They explored every corner of the headquarters. There was an advanced 3D printer for weapon manufacturing, a wand that could control metal, bracelets that made the reaction faster, and enhanced strength. There were also flying backpacks equipped with jet thrusters. Furthermore, Guys, check this out! <laughs> It turned out to be a teleportation portal. The kids got completely caught up in the excitement. They took Jack's car out of the base without permission. Not only that, they also took many small gadgets with them. They used these gadgets to cheat on exams. They scored goals crazily on the field. They were unaware the trouble was about to come. A group of people was searching for the headquarters of the Guardians. York, the leader was providing weapons to the Department of Defense, because in recent years, the Guardians were capturing villains everywhere, which let his company's products fail to sell. Through a fortunate coincidence, York hired a soldier. The other party knew that. The person who took the energy ball might be a Guardian. They were continuously monitoring energy fluctuations in the entire area day and night. However, Jack's headquarters were located 100 miles underground. The energy ball was hidden very discreetly. Nevertheless, Charlie had brought the equipment to school. He was even drifting in circles. With a tank in the parking lot, the soldier detected unusual energy. He quickly started analyzing the location. On the other side, Charlie's speeding alarmed the police. It was too thrilling for a middle schooler to drive in such high speed. They randomly pressed buttons. They wanted to shake off the pursuing police cars. Danny threw a few smoke grenades. The following police cars were surrounded by smoke. activated. They successfully returned to Jack's house. The soldier traced the car's route. He locked onto the location of the headquarters. The kids were unaware that danger was approaching. They were familiarizing themselves with advanced weapons at the headquarters. They completely regarded it as their secret base. Soon, the soldier stormed in with his team. They used equipment to locate the underground headquarters, and they sealed off the exit. Now the wild kids were trapped in the headquarters. Charlie took the energy ball while trying to escape. The entire headquarters lost power instantly. The soldier threatened them to surrender the energy ball. Furthermore, York discovered Kate, 
who was separated from the group. And I'm too pretty to die, okay? I'm way too pretty to die and I don't know why you guys want to kill me. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. The person at the door was Bruce, Dino's brother. He was also Kate's current boyfriend. York was afraid that he might call the police. He immediately captured Bruce as well. Meanwhile, Charlie and the others were contemplating their next move. Unexpectedly, they used Kate as a threat. Dino wanted to hand over the energy ball to save her, while Charlie believed that. The soldier wouldn't keep his promise. Taking the ball didn't make sure about they would release her. They had a disagreement. At a critical moment, they had internal conflict. Dino turned around and left. As a result, it is Dino was surprised by the wand's power. They bound York and went to boast to Charlie. The villains outside were unaware that their leader had been captured. They were busy placing bombs everywhere. After York regained consciousness, he started manipulating the wild kids. He said that Jack was extremely selfish, deliberately keeping the energy ball for himself, while York wanted to use the energy ball for the benefit of all humanity. Danny expressed, York was actually planning to use the energy ball to create weapons. Meanwhile, Jack finally discovered that his wife hadn't gone to pick up their son. It was only when he checked the surveillance footage that he realized the headquarters had been invaded. These stupid kids were brainwashed by York. They believed that surrendering the energy ball would guarantee their safety. Little did they know, just as York obtained the ball, the next moment, he had them captured. The energy ball was secretly sent back to the laboratory. The soldier realized that something was amiss. As the other side promised to make the energy ball public, to share it with the whole world, York argued cunningly. He discovered that the energy ball in his hand was fake, seizing the opportunity. Charlie and Danny Charlie! Emergency shut off. fled with their young companions. Unexpectedly, The energy ball rolled out, falling into the hands of the villains. Playtime has just begun. Yeah. Utilizing the equipment they had, managed to hit the energy ball to the ground. Kate swiftly piloted the aircraft and snatched it. However, she was caught by someone grabbing her ankle. Kate reacted quickly and delivered a kick below the person's groin. She successfully regained the energy ball and she threw it to Charlie. The young boy jumped over the billiard table with the ball. Then Charlie took the opportunity to escape. There were also people lying in ambush ahead. Now they were surrounded. The energy bracelet was also taken by the big guy. Oh. What are you doing? I'm getting out of the way. For what? Meanwhile, Dino used the teleportation ring to successfully resolve the crisis. <laughs> Bruce came over to help. After dealing with the long-haired man in front of them, the two of them went to meet up with Charlie. They were immediately captured by the soldier's men upon arrival. Only Charlie and the energy ball remained at the scene. The soldier falsely claimed that Jack had stolen something that belonged to him and was flying around with the help of alien powers, pretending to be a superhero. It was really annoying. After saying that, he pushed Charlie down preparing to snatch the ball. Unexpectedly, this time he was rejected by the energy ball again. He took the ball to the first floor lobby. York ordered his men to hold guns and threaten the soldier. They successfully snatched the energy ball. Unexpectedly. Bruce blew up the teleportation gate, leaving the energy ball completely in the school's locker. Only the children knew its location. At this moment, Jack finally returned. He claimed to be a technician here, having received a security vulnerability alert. That's why he came to check the situation. The soldier didn't expose Jack's lie. He realized that York wanted to kick down the ladder and harm others, and he had no intention of warning the other party. Jack successfully approached York, taking advantage of his unpreparedness. He protected several children and helped them retreat. He rushed out to deal with the remaining people. However, Jack's equipment quickly ran out of power. 
The energy ball wasn't with him either. He could only escape with the children. York followed suit, taking the waste pouch from the display case. After transforming, he hit Jack who was trying to escape. He then turned to Dino and forced him to reveal the whereabouts of the energy ball. After all, the other side was just a child. Scaring him a bit was enough. The boy would even reveal the number of his family member. After knowing the location of the energy ball, York took Dino and went to find it. As they left, they activated a timed bomb, intending to blow up the headquarters completely. Dino took advantage of the lack of attention and stole one of the bombs. Meanwhile, Charlie was trying to find a way to escape. The emergency exit password had been tampered with. They only had five minutes to crack it. Charlie and Danny went to find jetpacks. Escape expert Kate was responsible for cracking the code. It was a four-digit numerical code, with 10,000 possible combinations. Kate's cracking method was rough and straightforward. I got this. She quickly tried different combinations, using the speed of the energy bracelet. However, with each wrong attempt, it would trigger corresponding mechanisms. At a critical moment, she successfully found the correct password through trial and error. Now there were only 24 seconds left. Everyone used the jetpacks to escape smoothly. They had to find Dino as soon as possible. The school was hosting a costume party tonight. Dino led York to find the energy ball. As a result when they opened the cabinet, there was nothing inside. The principal walked out, saying that the security guard noticed Dino's locker was glowing. After forcefully opening it, they handed the glowing energy ball to her. York asked the principal to retrieve the ball, but she sensed something was off about him. She handed the ball to Dino instead. I don't like you! I don't like you! I don't like you! Meanwhile, Jack was wearing Kate's headphones and successfully entered the school building. He heard whistles and screams and immediately chased after them. Dino hid under a tablecloth. Unfortunately, York noticed the flash, walked over, and flipped the table over. Give it to me! and Jack caught up with him, but his equipment ran out of power, making him completely defenseless against York. He was violently beaten up. Outside, Charlie couldn't reach his dad. He decided to drive towards the dance party. The car crashed through the wall, taking advantage of the chaos. Dino threw the energy ball. Jack caught it, and immediately began transforming. The mechanical armor covered his body like scales. Shortly after, Jack looked really cool in this outfit. He threw the energy ball to Charlie, then turned to find York. You might have a point about the suit. Yeah, no! Jack was full of electrical power and punched York relentlessly. He beat him up so hard. York temporarily called for a halt, wearing a winter outfit, feeling hot and thirsty, wanting to take a break. Jack waited for him to finish drinking water on the side. Then, Jack punched him and sent him flying. Immediately after, Charlie's team trophy was shattered by the impact. York took advantage of Jack's distraction, swiftly counterattacked. When Jack got up, he realized that York had disappeared. He immediately went to the hall to find his son. He wanted to retrieve the energy ball and retreat. Unexpectedly, York suddenly appeared, holding Charlie hostage. Jack, in order to protect his son, considered giving up the energy ball. Charlie noticed a bomb on the ground. He quickly signaled his dad with his eyes. Jack understood Charlie's hint. He made a fake move to deceive York, seizing the opportunity. Charlie lunged and grabbed the bomb, assuming a football stance and threw it forward. It hit the energy ball perfectly. Jack ran over and helped up the injured Charlie. Fortunately, he wasn't seriously injured. Everyone gathered in a hug. Charlie's mom also arrived in a hurry. The family finally reconciled and made amends. The movie ends here. I can't believe Owen would actually take on this kind of film. The special effects and action design are impressive. The subject matter is also popular. However, the story was poorly written. Five children, four different races, very politically correct. Although it's filled with various high-tech weapons, it feels more like a children's educational film, wrapped in a sci-fi coating.